Happy Wednesday, Floss Tube. Hello, crafty friends. How's everybody doing today? My name's Caroline. Welcome back to the first of what is going to be a few giveaway videos here on my Floss Tube channel. Um, yeah, six years. It has been six years on July the 2nd. So back in 2017, July 2nd, I posted my very first video, floss tube video on this channel. And uh, <laughs> what that girl didn't know, what this would turn into, it has been, it has been the, the most amazing, uh, it's been the most amazing ride of my life. And I have you to thank for that. So if you've been here with me from the very beginning, or if today is the very first time that um, we're meeting together, uh, welcome, welcome back, and thank you. I wanted to, I wanted to, I just wanted to say thank you. Because of this community, I have an entirely different career than I had six years ago, though I am still wearing the same sweater. I did that on purpose. So this is the sweater that I was wearing in video number one, and I still love this sweater. It's still one of my favorites. So I thought it would be, I thought it would be just a, a nice little touch to wear it today. My hair is a lot longer and a fair, fair few more gray hairs up there than there were six years ago. But um, to say it has been fun and enriching is and life changing the whole nine yards. It's been fantastic. So let's do some giveaways to celebrate. I I had the video that I did two weeks ago, I was giving away, so I'm gonna pull some winners first from the last giveaway that I have still open until 10 minutes ago when I pulled the winners. I have this pile of beautiful, original Roxy Floss Co. Caramel Floss. There was a slight problem with it. Um, I think the the chokes were tied a little bit too tight when it was dyed and so some of the floss didn't catch as much of the saturation of the dye so it was a floss that we never um, sold this particular dye lot and of course it had already been carded so it was a waste I didn't want to throw it away but also um, you know we put the work into carding it so it's just sat in a drawer um, for the last couple of years and so I thought you know what there are some definitely some stitchers out there who would appreciate it and put it to good use. So I have divided up this beautiful pile of floss into six different um, groupings of floss uh, for six different winners. Uh, four of you will get five skeins and two of you will get six skeins of caramel floss. Of course, the caramel floss that we sell now through Roxy Floss Co. Is, in, is different. However, let's get to the winners. Are you ready? So, you must email me, caroline at evertote.ca. If I call your name, send me an email with in your subject heading, I won the caramel floss, and we'll get it out to you as soon as we can. Okay, winner number one, Terry Ruppel. Congratulations, Terry. You were the first name chosen. Winner number two, Bridget Devereaux White. Congratulations. You were the second name pulled. Winner number three, this one made me smile, Maureen W. Maureen and the Hammer, not that far away from me here in London. Maureen lives in Hamilton, which is known as the Hammer, colloquially, and Maureen you are the lucky number three. Winner number four, Rachel Wasserman. Congratulations, Rachel. You're winner number four. Winner number five, Elizabeth Holzer. Congratulations, you're winner number five. And number six, the final winner of the caramel grouping of floss, Cynthia Dryden. Congratulations, Cindy. Cynthia, your name was the last one chosen. I will have popped in some screenshots of the winners. So just in case you want to double check, just in case there's two Terry Ruffles, just have a quick peek at the screen when you hear your name. And I will have also posted your comment that you left for me so that you can see that it was your comment that was the winning one. And um, please email me your address, mailing address, and we'll get that out to you. So 
I, I, I mentioned, I think I mentioned, I've mentioned a few times that I have a shop, which is Evertote. Um, I'm the owner of Evertote. I started it <laughs> pretty much the same time I started this floss tube channel and um, maybe a little bit after. I can't remember the sequence of events, but I was making project bags at the time. It was the very first thing that I started off doing in my small business. And I started it with my sister-in-law. Um, her name was Kathy and we worked really well together. Uh, but Kathy already had a full-time job. My sister-in-law is the head of a high school music department and she's a music teacher and she is, she's busy. And so it very quickly became apparent that Kathy was not going to be able to put in, um, you know, the time required for, for us to do this. And so I, um, I took over the business on my own, um, about six months in. So from about six months into the start of Evertote, it's, it's been me and I worked, um, my small business from my home for the first few years. And then in April of 2021, uh, the business had grown, I moved it out of the house into uh, this building here where I record these floss tube videos for my original channel. And um, we call it the workshop here. We don't have a brick and mortar shop. We are uh, strictly online. However, um, we do have some local customers who will stop by now and then, and um, you know, a bit of local pickup here and there, and the occasional open house. Uh, but for the most part, we're entirely online. And the, the, the business has grown from just making project bags. And I say just, it, there's quite a big process involved in making project bags. We make project bags. I started working with a, a dyer who now, who you now know as Roxy Flosco. Um, so we sell all of Carrie's beautiful linens and flosses and Ada and even weave and all that good stuff. And I work really closely with some wonderful cross stitch designers and put things together in kits and collaborations and um, stitch alongs and all kinds of things. So it's really the last six years have just, um, yeah, it's, it's a little bit overwhelming at times if I, if I really think about it. Oh yeah. And Hearthside Craftworks as well. <laughs> There's that little thing as well. My husband and I, um, purchased the Hearthside Craftworks business from the original, uh, owners and designers of the Mark II floor frame and the lap frame. And my husband learned all of the processes of how to make those cross stitch embroidery stands. And we now, he now manufactures them and, um, we sell those too. So those are now, uh, part of the Evertote family. And it's grown from just me, myself, and I, to a wonderful staff here at Evertote that I am just lucky to be working with every day. And yeah, it's, it really is. I know you stop and think about it. And I just, it's, it is a little overwhelming. So let's have, let's have a, let's have a few days of giveaways to celebrate six years. So I thought today I would start off with something that was close to my roots of the beginning of the off the grid needle arts and ever tote sort of, you know, business being a bag set. So the bag set that I've chosen for today's giveaway. Now, before I show you this, and I'm going to mention this in every single day's video because it's really important information. So heads up, if you are entering any of the giveaways over the next few days, the only way you will find out you are a winner is by watching the video that I put out one week from today. So I have, I'm going to be doing daily giveaway videos all the way up until July 2nd, which is the actual sixth year anniversary. And then one week after each video goes up, so a week from today, I will start doing short daily videos announcing the winner of the, the prize that I'm giving away. So today, so next Wednesday, I'm going to tell you who won. So the only way you're going to find out is if you watch the video next week, I will never message you privately. I will never send you an email telling you you've won. I will never leave you a comment on your YouTube comment. I will never message you on Instagram telling you you've won. It's not me. You have to hear it from my lips. Say your name, see it on the screen. 
Please do not give anybody your credit card information. I would never, ever, ever ask you for your credit card information in order to send you a prize. So don't fill out any forms or give out any information, nothing like that. Don't also, don't use the word giveaway in your comment below. I'm not gonna put the word giveaway in my subject title, so I'm really hoping that we can avoid that. But sometimes what happens is, you know, it's, it's kind of intuitive where if they see that there's a, you know, 300 people commenting for something, they kind of assume that maybe that's what it is. So just to be safe, the only way you're gonna find out you win is from hearing it by hearing it from me. Now that I've said that three times, let's move on and show you what I've got for today. So bags, project bags for cross stitchers was the very first thing that I started making at Evertote, for Evertote. So I have a project bag set. It is one of my favorites that we currently have in the shop. This was the bag set and this is the small notion pouch that comes with it. So this is the large size and it has a beautiful bird print on it. This was the bag set that we made to go with uh, the tweet tweet chart from Macy of uh, Quaint Rose Needle Arts. It's a beautiful chart, beautiful floss pack, but this was the bag set that went with it. And so, oh, that's the back. The front of the bag doesn't look much different. There you go. And I love the little um, birdie feet on the accent fabric there. It's really fun. So the bag, project bags were one of the first things, they were the first thing that I started making and selling. And then, Jacob came into my life. <laughs> Jacob has been in my life for a very long time, but when I met the actual man himself and I started stitching his projects and I started using Carrie's floss for the very first time with this project, Distal Fink Heart. So this is going back a few years because Carrie has now been dyeing floss for two and a half years. She started dyeing floss in October, November, December of 2021. And I, that's when I started selling it. But the very first project, full project that I stitched and completed with Carrie's floss and one of Jacob's patterns was Distal Fink Heart. And I changed it from red to purple. And so I thought that I would give you, you're gonna get the bag set you're gonna get the chart, and you're going to get the floss that I used. Now, this isn't my floss. This is this is some floss that I've got in the shop, um, th but these are the colors. So the dark purple, can I show this to you on? Hang on a second. No, nope. no, nope. there. The dark purple is called Wisteria and the light purple is called iris. Now, these colors are probably likely going to be discontinued. This is, um, this is some older floss that's still in the shop because at the time Carrie dyed a lot of it and I haven't sold all of it. So this is still original floss. So chances are really good that if Carrie tried to re-dye this particular color, it probably wouldn't look much like this because it would be, it would be like making a brand new recipe because it's been, it's been a couple of years now. So, but this, these were the colors that I used to stitch. Are you ready? Because here's my version of it. And it's still not FFO'd, but the stitching is finished. And there's mine. So it was the very first time I'd stitched an entire project with Carrie's Floss. Leo and Roxy at the time was Leo and Roxy Yarn Co., which changed to uh, Leo and Roxy Floss Co., which changed to Roxy Floss Co., which is where we're at now, and she's promised me it's never changing ever, ever again. So, very first time I stitched with Carrie's Floss on one of Jacob's patterns, I made it my own, I changed the colors, and started a really amazing friendship with two really wonderful people, which then has morphed into working with other designers like my friend Ellen and Jeanette Douglas. I did a collaboration with Jeanette Douglas. I mean, like for real, these things are amazing to me that I, I get to work with 
with such amazing people. We just recently did a collaboration with Nuri of Shaded Stitchery, Bart Dunn, the Christmas chart last year. So many um, talented people in this community and it's just been, it's been such a pleasure um, to get to know them and yeah. Speaking of which, I just met Jeanette Douglas face to face last weekend. That was a highlight. I went to the Stitch and Stash Retreat in Edmonton uh, with my good friend Carrie of Roxy Flosco. And we are actually going to record a floss tube video tomorrow together um, over on my other channel, which is the workshop channel. It's called Evertote Notes from the Workshop. And we do a joint floss tube there uh, between two whips. And we're gonna we're gonna tell you all about our Edmonton retreat and what we worked on, what we stitched, and who we met. Um, so many amazing people. The organizers did a phenomenal job. Jean and Kelly were amazing, and it was um, it was just so fun. It was so fun. So I'm I'm gonna save any more talk about that until um, Carrie and I can can do that together tomorrow. So I'm taking you back to my roots today. We are, this is the giveaway for today's video. A large project bag set, the chart for Modern Folk Embroidery's Distal Fink Heart, and five skeins of cotton overdyed floss dyed by Carrie of Roxy Floss Co. And this prize pack is being donated to you today by Evertote, hosted by Evertote. So, if you leave me a comment on this video, you're automatically entered. No special word if you leave me a comment. So if you don't want to win this, don't leave me a comment. <laughs> that might be the easiest way to do it. I will draw a name for the winner in one week. So Wednesday, next week, you're going you're gonna to see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to title the video something about, you know, six years and then, I don't know, back to my roots or distal fin card or project bag, whatever. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Just leave me a comment if you'd like a chance to win this. So I know I said I was going to keep this short, but I think we're already 20 minutes in. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's on brand. So there you go. Uh, yeah, I have some pretty exciting things to give away this week. So I hope that you will join me for some fun and maybe a chance to win a, a prize. And thank you for celebrating with me. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your friendship, your continued support, and yeah, for your shared love of cross-stitching because, um, you know, what would we do without it? Thank you, and I will see you tomorrow. Take care, everybody. Happy stitching.